Hey guys, today I'm making these tiny little coffee pots for your dolls. Um, let's see, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please feel free to click that subscribe button. And kids, do be sure and ask a parent for help before starting this craft. Okay guys, so let's get started. So guys, I start with one of these little toy containers that you can get from the 25 cent machines. I remove my top and I'm just using my hot glue gun to create a hole here in the top. And by the way, you can always use um, craft foam paper to clean off any excess plastic from your gun. Then using my small scissors, I expand my hole. Then I take a hole punch and punch out a spout. Then I'm cutting off this little rim here. I then lay out parchment paper, squirt out a ton of hot glue. I can spread it out just a little bit with my popsicle stick. when it begins to cool down, so maybe 30 seconds. I remove the excess. And if need be, guys, I just use my scissors to kind of clean it up. Of course, I test it out. Then I'm just taking some silver nail polish and painting along the bottom. And leave it to dry. While that's drying, I cut out two pieces of craft foam paper and glue together. And so I like to try and spread my glue around. Then in the middle here where I know my glue is, I can roughly sketch a D. I'm just going to round my edge just a little bit here. I use a thumbtack in an area that I won't see, so the part where I'll be gluing it and I paint with clear nail polish and rest it on a bit of clay. And when my bottom's dry, fold over a piece of paper, twice, and I'm taking white nail polish, lining my paper, And making my marks and allowing to dry. And guys, when dry, I glue my handle. This next part is a little bit tricky, so we're just gonna make a spout with our hot glue gun. So just adding some hot glue. and pulling it out with my pencil. Be sure and leave it there long enough for it to dry. And I can just trim up any weirdness. 
So here I've mixed some instant coffee and warm water. Alternatively, you can just use water and blue, red, and green food coloring until you get a blackish color. I squirt inside my coffee pot. And guys, you are so totally good to go.